Isn't that great? Stevie Wonder for once in my life. It's seven minutes to seven. The Sport Free Game On. Tonight on Sports Time, we're bringing you the very best coverage from the first, second, and third divisions. Live, live, live commentary action and the latest soccer news. 15:48 a.m. Capital Gold Sports Time tonight from seven. With more classic golden hits. All singing, all dancing. 15.48 a.m. Capital Gold Breakfast Show. Tony Blackburn and Andy Turner. At four minutes to seven o'clock. Actually, in the next hour, we'll update you on last night's uh, Coronation Street and we've got Celebrity Gossip. And we'll be telling you in Celebrity Gossip why Superman wants his pay double. Rick Parfit has lost his divorce battle. How Maxine from the street beat a driving ban. And what is Sly Stallone's eating in his new diet? What's he eating? We'll tell you in the next hour. Anyone who ever Fifteen forty-eight a.m. Capital Gold, London. Capital Gold at seven. Good morning. I'm Andrew Turner. Tinsel Towns talking of nothing else. Madonna's had a little girl called Lourdes Maria. The bundle of joy weighed in at six pounds nine ounces. At first, the soccer spotlight focuses on the first division tonight. Cratch all the action live on 1548 AM Capital Gold Sport from 7 with Carling Black Label. The weather and fun with Andrew's oddballs after this, it's 7.01. I'd say to work. AM Capital Gold is bringing Italy's sweetest soul singer back to London. Zucchero <laughs> plays the Shepherd's Bush Empire on Monday the 2nd of December. Book now on 0181 740 7474 or call the ticket hotline on 0171 420 1010 for a little bit of sugar. Zucchero live. Only with London's home for classic golden hits, 1548 AM Capital Gold. The weather, sunshine and showers with highs of 16 centigrade, 61 Fahrenheit. Andrew's oddball. An angler watched in horror as his car ran off a ramp and disappeared beneath the surface of the water as he fished in France. Claude Brisson didn't catch anything that day, but when his car was raised from the water and the bonnet opened, he found a fish inside. 1548 AM, Capital Gold. With more classic golden hits. All singing, all dancing. 15.48 a.m. Capital Gold Breakfast Show. Tony Blackburn and Andrew Turner. 15.48 a.m. Good morning. So she had a baby girl last night called Lourdes. Spelled exactly the same as Lourdes, actually, but we understand it's uh, pronounced Lourdes. So we congratulate Madonna this morning. I don't know if this is really an appropriate record. Like a virgin. And she had a little baby called Lourdes last night. Congratulations to Madonna. Six minutes past uh, seven o'clock. How are you this morning? Welcome along. I was up very, very late last night. i got to be honest with you. Normally I go to bed about 8.30, but uh, last night I was up very, very late. Uh, for one reason, honouring perhaps the nicest guy in in the music business and uh, luckily he works here i've known him for years and years i met him for the first time in 1964 and we're talking about not off pop figures it's beer again fluff freeman because he was honored last night we were all at the grosvenor house hotel there were thousands of people there well i'm exaggerating slightly the place was absolutely packed it was a night of nights to honor one of the nicest men I've ever known. I've never heard anybody say anything uh, against him. I've never heard him say anything against anybody else. That's the lovable thing about him. He's just Mr. Genuine, Mr. Lovable. And he was honored last night at the Music Industries Trust Award. He was given a special award for his services to the industry. 
And uh, he was there, and uh, we were all there, and uh, I was very honoured, and it was a great honour, to go up on stage and uh, help present his prize. Chris Tarrant was uh, presenting the whole evening. He was the compere. Did a marvellous job. Uh, I was actually, and it's something I will be able to tell my children when I get older, I was there on the night when Chris Tarrant was funny. And uh, <laughs> he made a great speech. Simon D came up on stage. Simon, it was lovely to see Simon again. Johnny Walker, Pete Murray was there. Neil Fox, he came up and, and brought uh, Fluff to the stage. And Fluff did a lovely uh, speech saying that he was, he was absolutely astounded because most people thought he was dead. <laughs> and he got this award, and it really was a spectacular evening. There was a great video shown as well to, to honor him where everybody was on the, on the video saying how wonderful his career was and everything. And Paul McCartney, I mean, this sort of just gives you the idea of uh, what we think about Fluff Freeman. Paul McCartney was on this video uh, just talking about Fluff, and uh, we all just love him. And we were just delighted last night, genuinely delighted. You know, there's a lot of sort of falseness in the, in the world of show business, but last night it was absolutely genuine. We were all there because we wanted to be there, and it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. And he was given this award, and really it was an evening that I would not have missed out on for the world, and just delighted and rather proud to have been up on stage at what it was a, a sort of a historic moment to see Fluff being presented with his special Music Industries Trust Award. So once again, on behalf of us all here at Capital Golden and part of everybody in the industry. Congratulations, Fluff. Well deserved. Delighted he got it as well. Nine minutes past seven o'clock right here at Capital Gold this morning. Free to pay, Band of Gold. Eleven minutes past seven o'clock. Incidentally, what I just said there, uh, just before the record, I'd, I'd just like to uh, thank uh, Fluff Freeman for writing it uh, a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> that was a wonderful evening. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy either. These are the small faces. To rest my eyes in shades of green. It's all too beautiful. Small faces. And that one there called Itchy Two Park. 15.48 a.m. Capital Gold, London. Did you ever get a song that uh, sort of goes round and round in your mind, uh, Andrew? Yes, I hate it when that happens. Yeah, so do I as well. And it's happened to me. I keep singing the green, green grass of home the whole time. Good grief. And uh, the, the whole time, day and night, it's the green, green grass of home. And I went to my doctor the other day, and he, I, I explained this to him, and he said, uh, you've got Tom Jones-itis. Oh, yeah. It's not unusual. 15.48 a.m. Capital <laughs> Gold, London's updated travel. Oh, dear. An accident. In Harrow may hold you up on Kenton Lane at Gordon Avenue. You can use your tube tickets on Network South Central and Thameslink services. 15.48 a.m. Capital Gold. Don't forget in a moment we'll update you on last night's Coronation Street. Final furlong now coming up to the last jump. Express is in the lead. Oh! Express is down! Oh, that's a right cross. Followed up by an uppercut. Oh my goodness! Express is down! 2-5. Now, the all-time greats sound even better with Tony Blackburn, 15.48 a.m. Don't forget, Mike Osmond and those naughty boys will be with you just after uh, 10 o'clock. Mike Osmond, uh, he's so old, last time he took a holiday, he went to Boston to attend a tea party. Hello! He's a sort of rough idea. <laughs> Corey Eason Street, thanks. A little time to think it over. A little, little space just on my own. Oh, that's lovely, that one. Love that record. 1548 AM Capital Gold, London. It's 20 minutes past 7 o'clock. Hope you're enjoying the show this morning. Tuesday, the 15th of October, 1996. If you are enjoying the show, tell all your friends. If you're not, of course, just keep it to yourself, won't you? For goodness sake, we wouldn't like too many people to know. Right, OK, let's update you on uh, last night's Coronation Street, shall we? And Kelly reckons that Ken and Mrs. Jeffers are at it. Ashley, her boyfriend, is going to live with Don Brennan in his spare room. Don said he didn't mind what his lodger gets up to in his 
own room. Kelly shuddered at the thought of him listening. <laughs> Bill reckons he's getting nowhere with Maureen because she still screwed up over the pillock. Jim told him to go and talk to her. He tried in the shop but got nowhere. So he tried again in the Rovers and this time definitely got past first base. Raquel still looking for a job. While Curly wants to start a family. She's putting that on hold though. But now she's changed. Curly was not amused. And Billy Williams, who used to be in the RAF, told Des that his new woman must be on a nice little pension from the force from her former husband. He reckoned she be, could be getting five grand a month and could lose it all if they find out that she was living with a new bloke. Mm. So Des asked her if it was true. And it was. She's risking a fortune but reckons Des is worth it. Must be joking. And poor little Jamie's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. While Trish is tapping Jack and Vera for the money to pursue a divorce. It was a little bit better last night, wasn't it? Picking so, up uh, slightly. Yes. But Ra Raquel is... Oh, no, she's gone way, definitely odd. Yeah, she's it's altered character totally. The bright she? lights of Maidenhead have destroyed her. Exactly, yes. Is, is she going to be on the sofa for much longer? I don't no, I don't think she? so. No. no. So they go, and they haven't really developed the character of the new barmaid, have they? No, Rather. no, no, she's done very little so far. What's happened there? They, uh, they've got to develop her a little bit, if you see what I mean. I thought she was already <laughs> quite well developed. <laughs> Walked into that one. 21 minutes past 7 o'clock with the Rolling Stones. Hey, get off my cloud. This one's reserved. Stones, get off my cloud. Celebrity gossip on the way, and why Superman wants his pay double. Rick Parfitt has lost his divorce battle. How Maxine from the street beat a driving ban. And what is sliced alone eating in his new diet? You won't believe it, I tell you. We'll tell you at a moment, 24 past 7. Wouldn't it be nice if we were over and we Wouldn't it be nice? 1548 AM Capital Call. And it's nice, isn't it? 26 minutes past 7 o'clock on a terrific Tuesday morning. I was thinking with all this party political stuff going on at the moment, what a pity it is that all the people who really know how to run the country are either driving taxis or cutting hair. Wishing on a star. I overheard a lovely thing in a uh, supermarket the other day. Or it's a shop, actually. It's, it's, Mummy, it's far too hot with all these clothes on. Shut up. The store detective might hear you. It's 7.30. Time for the half-hour headlines with Andrew. Madonna's a material mum after giving birth to a girl. Baby Lourdes Maria tipped the scales at six pounds nine ounces at an L.A. hospital. Questions are being asked as to why the public hasn't been warned that a double child murder has been on the loose for three weeks. David Burgess walked out of Layhill Open Prison while serving two life sentences. Night Ask your creative director for a ticket. With more classic golden hits. They all singing, all dancing. 15.48 a.m. Capital Gold Breakfast Show. Tony Blackburn and Andrew Turner. 15.48 27 minutes to 8 o'clock. Celebrity gossip is on the way. And don't forget, between 9 and 10 this morning in the Tony Blackburn Golden Hour, we've got an hour of dance classics. It's going to be cooler, fresher day. Some sunshine at times with the risk of showers this afternoon and 16, 61. Capital Gold. Fun degrees to go. Right now, here's Lionel Richie all night long. Classic golden hits from her 60s, 70s and 80s. Well, my friends, the time is Throw away the work to be done. Let the music play on, play on, play on. Everyone you meet. Dance classics between 9 and 10 this morning in the Tony Bowman Golden Hour, certainly. 
Lionel Richie, all night long. Miss Lenny, do you know what you get if you cross uh, Noel Edmonds with the Venus de Milo? An armless bit of fun. Hello! <laughs> 15.48 a.m. Capital Cold. 22 minutes to 8 o'clock. we got celebrity gossip on the way. And uh, why Superman wants his pay doubled? Rick Parfitt has lost his divorce battle. How Maxine from the street beat a driving van. And what is sliced alone eating in his new diet? Give us a hint on that one? Not a lot. No. Yeah, not a lot. That's a good hint. That's a good hint. It's unbelievable. You'll find out, but first of all, here come the times and...